to rescue Lauren Costigan, wife of Bradley Costigan, my client. She is being held captive by the Tiger Claws. If you wish to know more, read the attachment. We don't save, we've done two saves. Ah. Wasn't all of them. Yeah, yeah, that was all of them. So we need to take the, um, this one. Are you kidding? Well, then we have to destroy something.
makes me feel better. Never stop me. Oh, there, the reflection. I wonder. No, you can't destroy lights. Intelligence. Take that. You want something? I'm getting you out of here. What? Your husband hired me. I'll make sure you're safe. Stupid fucking worthless piece of shit! What? There, there. You gotta help me, I'm begging you. That's why I'm here. Come on now. Let's get up. <laughs> Head down. We need to destroy something more. This is a vehicle. Right. No need to thank me. Wait, wait, where are you going? Hey there. Is there someone who can help you? Um, my mom. Tell her to lay low somewhere. They'll be looking for your family and friends. You understand? Y yeah. Uh, wh what about Brad? Just focus on yourself right now. Hey, 
See that car? It'll take you someplace safe. Thank you. Look out for yourself. Lauren is secure. I'm informing Bradley now. Thank you for your help. Contract closed. Now we need to go down here. We really have to. We have to ignore this one. We need to get down there and go here. Then we can st sell and some other stuff. Wrong way, wrong way. Uh, we took wrong way again. Got any doorbuster deals in Yukatas? Please, please. Shop at a big pleasure. Iroshaimase. Okay, let's see. What do you have? We need sort this through rarity. Quality, I mean. Hmm. Which we can't. Strange. You know, that one is pretty good. And for some reason, oh, well, we can't afford it. But that is really good. Grants immunity to poison. Grants immunity to shock. We don't need that. We have that. Uh, the question I now have is grant immunity to poison. Do we have a trait that will give us that? Let's... Uh... Let's sell some stuff first.
Hmm. So let's say this one have 12, 24. Well, then this is rubbish. It, it is absolutely rubbish. I know what we will do. We're going to salvage that one and put it on this one. There we go. I'm not sure how it works on iconic iconic weapons. Double increase crit chance. Why not? See, we haven't got anything new here. No. Doesn't look like it. Cat food. I'm not very tempted to eat cat food. Get up. 
You don't even want to find you. Get the latest, trusted scoop on Night City, only on N54 News. You're going nowhere to run. Surrender. Now! Okay. We need to be discreet. So I'm supposed to move out because the tigers take the whole floor? Any idea what they're doing? Just be quiet and don't show your face. Jack her out, be done with it. I mean, how long did this go on? What's the first day? Yeah, but then we lose the goods. This is about principles, not goods. It's taking us to our ride. Did it say fried ants? Now we need to hurry.
Okay, BZ, 1Z. No, 55. No, it just want to do it. We need B, we need BD first. I can only get two. You coward. He's alive. Do not disconnect. Cool me down or I'm barbecue. Take coolant from bathroom. I think we got something good now. Yep. Look at that. That is what we want. Are you kidding me? So it won't be visible as long as we have this one, right? Yeah.
I mean, uh, let's get out of here. Oh. Is Bugbear dead? Come on. Come on, talk to me. She seems to be alive. Let's see if she will see alive. Well done, my dear. I am pleased. As they say, we will be in touch. Contract closed. I don't think she is alive. Wait, was there a different radio? No. Okay, next area will be... Yeah, down here. Then we also have this one. Devlin Parker, I believe. If I just peruse, if you're not going to buy anything, yes. Okay. So we've got records. But we also have a lot of these. So now we know we can find that over here, too. Wait, am I here again? Wait, is this you? Wait, 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 what happened to you? Hey, what's up? You were a monk not long ago, friend. And now you're someone else. Yes, what's up? Yeah, I'm leaving this place. Hey, hey, V, wait a second. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? To my untrained ear, sounds all right. I guess. I mean, it's easy listening at least. No, why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guys hurt, 
got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. It's all those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. So... You're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town. Ooh, I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. Jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm. You know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Was some of this background music? Oh, I actually like listening to this. Let's head over to the club. Um, Johnny, pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. I'm ready. Your daddy? Uh, hey, um, Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Mr. Oh, no. Another one. Aren't you too young for this? Do what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old rainbow club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing this shirt. <laughs> Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. Okay. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Green. Thanks. In a city tingling with desire. Hey, I'm looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Something from us, Cracks? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, Chum. It's just a joke. <laughs> laser pop? Fucking laser pop? Here? At my stand? I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian duelists. Urdine stuff, tainted overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, 
chipping in. You name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of Raw. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I see I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch it. Silverhand had something they couldn't even see. Uh, a silver hand. He had that fire, kid. Fire! The guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gunk off the street. Uh, okay. Hey, I ain't a poser. I know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on. Impress me. Tell me. I told Carrie the last time they met. Call him a pussy. Call him to stop being one. Yeah, sure. I could think of a million conversations we had. There were no witnesses. Hmm. I used to uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right. Proof. How How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? You can be in one and have in one. Uh, yeah. Johnny, my dear expert, help but you out. I need a quick rundown of Samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire and smashed it on the stage. Crowd went wild. Well, can't wait all day. Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. <laughs> what the? This is. Fucking hell, Johnny. Why sabotage? Why now? Cause it's funny. Cause I'm bored. Maybe I don't like the cut of your conformist chip. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Let me think. There was a fire. Remember those gonks who tried putting it out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any troubles, Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Come on, have at it. Okay, so. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hello, legendary t-shirt. And this one with a mod slot, but it isn't great. This one has a mod slot. Let's do some shopping. Why not?
This one also have a mod slot, but I don't know. It's worse. So uh, yeah. Much appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. You know they say time is the best teacher. I used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. In 60 years, something must have changed. You know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka. Same old shit. Different package. Well, something's changed. Maybe we can't see it, but... It's changed all the same. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. Fair enough. Okay, let me get the uh, some changing here. I want to see how that looks. Looking good. Looking very good. Not sure if the boots will fit, but sure, I will take it. So we don't need to bother with the boots, but let's see here. Salvaging. Salvaging that and that. Well, I've seen worse. We have, we have looked a lot worse than this. But this legendary piece. It is beautiful. Crit damage. Crit chance. Armor. more armor must be more to buy it they are uncommon so we can have quite a lot of it but damn this just looks so bad there must be something we can do i mean that looks just looks that just seems so much better we need a legendary headpiece that is a bit discreet like the bandana or something then i can take it We do have a Ripper Dock nearby. We did burn some money over there, but I think it was worth it. I mean, a legendary clothing piece? Why not? Looking to upgrade my chrome. Okay, you sit, be comfy, and we will start. Okay, what do you have? I own this one and that one. And they own a lot of it, but we need reflexes. Hold on. Okay. Well, 
Well, that is the thing with this. I don't really know what it does. This one is actually better too. It has two more RAM. It's a bit different. I see now. Increase the cyberdeck RAM, cyberdeck RAM recovery rate by three units per 60 seconds. We have quick hack pool and reduce by 45%, which is pretty good. Increases damage dealt by quick hacks by 20%. Increases combat quick hack duration by 40%. Hmm. You know, it's a thousand, so let's buy it. And this is only when we're using smart weapons. This is uh, power weapons. I think we're using power weapons more. Let's go with that. Arms. Yeah, we're gonna need one of these too if we're going to do some uh, fighting, I believe. So we kind of prefer mantis blades. Projectile launch system. Yeah, I remember that one. We have something for that. So we have gorilla arms. Gorilla arms charge with each attack. When you perform a strong attack, they deal bonus damage based on the charge level. Uh, gorilla arms also allow you to force open locked doors and rip turrets from their bases. Mantis place. This is one I, I think I would like, but I'm not sure. Uh, Mantis place allows you to slice and dice your enemy with swift, deadly slashes. They also unlock the ability to leap towards a target and deal massive damage. Uh, to do so, hold and release. Uh, okay, um, left mouse button, I believe it is. Mantis blades deal physical damage due to the blade's inherently fast attack speed and combos. They can rapidly deal devastating damage, granting a higher chance to dismember the enemy. Very effective against an individual target. Monowire. The monowire charges charge when equipped, equipped but not using combat. Attacks with a charge wire deal bonus damage based on the charge level. Charge level and bonus damage dealt decline with each attack. Monowire deals physical damage, is a high amount of concentrated damage and can instantly dismember an enemy with one quick attack. And then this one. But I think I would like Mantis Blades. It might be good, I don't know. Take a look at it. And then we have these. Now, should we go for it? I mean, it would be quite expensive. Hmm. 
But which one is better? I mean, if they are still, if they are the same. I don't know. Fortified ankles. They will make us do a power jump pretty much. This will make us do a double jump. And yeah, we'll go with the double jump. Done. And arms? Uh, we could go with Mantis. We can only afford one. I don't know. Nah, you know what? We are burning so much cash here already. Skip that for now. These ones we have... We have wanted for some time. Thank you. Look at that. Okay, so that's one. That's a tower. That's a fixer. That's another way. Wait, 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 was that another Reaper Dock? There is another Reaper Dock nearby. And there's also one over here. As in a crime over here. Okay, let, let's go for this crime first. <laughs> 